There's no shadow now. Hi. Uh, it's me. Still here doing infusions. I just wanted somebody to keep me company for the last one hour. It's the last hour. I have been here, I don't know since what time. I have to do it for, for eight hours. So I'm coming to just say hello and to look for company for the last couple of minutes. I actually just turned my laptop off. There's nothing much I can do here. It's really long. It's really boring. It's I don't even have a clue. Thank bye you so dear. much. Bye. bye. See you next weekend. month. Right. Yeah. So hi. Hi, everybody. I am here. I am bored. I wish I came on live earlier so that you guys can keep me company. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Francis. Hi, Orange. Yes, so it has been a long, long, long day. I'm getting infusions, as you can see. I uh, usually get these twice a month, and they usually go um, they usually go for eight hours each day. And all I have is this little room over here. Uh, my my equipment here, my infusion, and that's it. So. Yeah, so that is what is going on. So I was just coming to just say hi, um, just chat with somebody if anybody wants to just kind of keep me company over here. Let me call my mom. Hi, Morana. Hi. Hi, everybody. So um, I'm really, really, really tired mentally and physically. <laughs> I might not look like it, but I am. I'm starting to have uh, some side effects to the infusions and this is just how let me show you my room this is just how yeah and it beeps because it's just the last this is just me this is just how it is I usually don't watch TV I just sit here and wait for it to go and this is just uh, uh, this is just how it is it's just uh, irritating and uh, so right now it looks like I have like uh, how many more? It looks like I have like 30 more minutes to go. Yeah. How much more? Like 10 minutes on that yeah, or five? Yeah, not long. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, so hi. So they, they were just adjusting. So I have 10 more minutes each of the medication and then I'll get some fluids because they have to flush. They have been checking up on me like every 15 minutes uh, to just make sure that everything is okay. And they check my blood pressure every 15 minutes to make sure that uh, the medication is where it's supposed to be. Um, yes, and I know last week I was talking about my nostril getting blocked. So... This week on Tuesday, I went to the ENT. They will have to do surgery uh, because uh, there's some stuff on there that needs to be removed. So they'll have to do surgery to remove that. So that's that. That will be well taken care of. So right now, a few things that are happening. Just getting the... And you can share this. I think the video is public. So I usually share my journey, just tell you how I am doing. I am blessed, <laughs> uh, blessed beyond measure. I can afford a smile with my 32 minus two teeth. I am blessed beyond measure. And I just thank God. Uh, sometimes, you know, you just have to smile and keep it moving. So you can share the video. It's public. So this is this is lupus. This is how lupus looks like. This is lupus. This is autoimmune diseases. This is how they actually look like. You cannot tell I'm sick by just looking at me, but inside in my body, I am suffering. <laughs> and um, the way uh, the autoimmune does or the way autoimmune works is that it's when, the dis it's when your body is fighting something and it does not know when to stop. So it just keeps on fighting itself my body keeps on fighting itself it does not know how to stop so it keeps on fighting and keep on fighting fight the good cells fight the good organs keep on fighting so i have been here and i'm still here so um 
I'm still getting the medication and then I'll get 30 minutes of water or fluids because they have to do that to make sure that I, you know, the medication is well settled in. So that's that. So I'll be having surgery in my nose and my throat here in uh, a few weeks. But that's that. You can share the video. It's public. Um, I just like to educate and spread awareness of autoimmune disease. I have a, a group called scroll doma lupus and other autoimmune disease if you know a family member who may have an autoimmune disease diabetes type 1 celiac crohn's rheumatoid arthritis add them to the group let's join let's learn so i share my journey to just educate people about autoimmune diseases so what i'm getting today is called ivig that is what has kept me i'll say alive probably <laughs> because it helps my body with more globulins and more uh, tissues and more whatever that my body cannot or my body that is that my body is actually destroying and then i come and get more medication and life keeps going on so so that's that so i'll be having surgery for my nose my throat in a week uh, in a few weeks time so that is okay I am not even worried about that so now after today then what after today um i have to watch for side effects of these two days of medication so what i do is i hydrate i was drinking some tea i hydrate a lot uh, just to make sure that i get enough water in the system and um but the side effects are nausea and i probably need to call somebody so i can remind them that I'll need nausea medication before I go, otherwise I'll go home throwing up. Uh, the side effects are usually nausea and migraines. There's no way at all to escape that. I get migraines every time I get the infusions. And again, I have been here for eight hours today and I was here for eight hours yesterday. It's not easy, it's brutal. <laughs> And as I showed you, for those who are joining me right now, my name is Anne and Lillian. I try to advocate lupus and autoimmune diseases. I have five autoimmune diseases. This is where I have been for over eight hours, two days in a row. So it's not easy, but it's nobody said it was going to be easy. Nobody said it was, you know, it, the journey was going to just be very easy. I remember last week I was talking about just being still, being still and letting God and leaving everything to God. Share the video, let people come in, you know, learn about autoimmune diseases. So yeah, remember to release Zofran for me before I go so that, yes, 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 ma'am. I just don't wanna forget about, okay. yes. Sorry about that. And this is gonna be where you're still here. Good morning, I'll just switch over. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm actually going to take a few more minutes. Okay, you think so? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because it's right here. Oh, you mm -hmm. want it to run through the whole line. Okay, it will beep then. I'll leave this cracked. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. It looks like uh, <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> anyway, it looks like I'll be here for a little bit longer than I was expecting. I was thinking it was going to be like 30 minutes, but it's not. It looks like it will be longer than that. Um, it's okay it's every month two days in a row every single month two days in a row i have to get that infusion 
otherwise I go into a very, very, very bad flare up. Autoimmune diseases are not a joke. If you hear somebody who has rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, any autoimmune disease is very, 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 very hard to fight. So anyway, um, so this is my life. I have to be still, leave everything to God. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I have to be still and know that he is God. I have to wait upon him because by myself, I cannot do it. I am telling you this. Last night, my daughter Ashley melted me, melted my heart because when I went home, I usually have a pot. So they have a needle. It's a one inch needle. They whatever for me over here. So I have that. And last night when I got home, it was like my bandage was like kind of soaking with uh it was soaking with um what is it with blood and i had not realized because i was just tired and i got home and ashley told me oh my gosh mom your body is soaking and i said ah, i don't even feel like touching it right now but i know it needs change she's like oh I'll go change it for you so she went got the alcohol wipes came put on some gloves cleansed it and put a a different body agency she's like see i can be a nurse and uh, my heart melted because she wants to be a doctor or a nurse so bad she there's a time she wanted to be a lawyer she changes every so often anyway but there's a time she wanted to be a lawyer but right now i know for a fact that she wants to be in the medical field so she was like oh my gosh mom i'm you know i didn't think that i can ever touch blood without uh feeling Funny, but this is where the uh, the medication comes through and as I said it was gonna beep in a few minutes it goes through this little thing over here this is a pot um, it goes through my superior vena cava so it goes just to the tip of my heart so that is where the medication goes through so they are changing now to the water the normal saline and I'll have that for like 30 minutes and then I can go home so that's that she just i think switched it and i'm good so what i was saying is that i'm kind of blessed not kind of i am blessed beyond measure i cannot complain about life um i have seen my life almost being taken away from me a few times i was just like hospitalized uh, labor day weekend and for those who came to see me i really appreciate you and uh, when I was hospitalized Labor, Labor Day weekend, what I can tell you is, you know what? Uh, okay, I, I'm not gonna bother with it. So when I was hospitalized, I remember my blood pressure dropped so bad, it was in the 60s. And, um, you know, that was scary to be told about it the following morning because i knew sorry guys i'm gonna like let them come and switch so that um you guys can hear me so i'll let them come and switch it over let me see ah, i think i got it i didn't wanna come on I'll push it. Anyway, I try not to doctor myself when I'm here, but sometimes when push comes to shove, I usually know what to do. So anyway, um, so when I was there, my blood pressure dropped so bad and um, I just like look at the times that God has done for me and look at what he does in my life and how he sustains me. And I think that he does that with a reason and I was telling some warriors, some, you know, we have a group of lupus warriors that I share with that I was telling them, there's no way God can give you more than you can handle. There's no way Every road you take. can ever put uh, more on your plate than you can handle. Sorry about that. There's no way God will put anything uh. in your plate. There's no way God will put more on your plate than you can handle. Just trust. I, I, I mean, uh, I think the way I have gone in this journey and the way I try to go in this journey is just by, by trusting God. Just by trusting that with every step that I make, with every little mishaps that happen in my life, that I trust that he knows what he's doing. And I trust God and leave it 
at that you know just give it leave it at the cross and just go on with life and i try to encourage other people to do the same thing leave it at the cross and move on don't try to take that on god and then try to call all your friends and tell them about your problems i just try to leave it at the cross and move on with life if you know and understand what i mean because the more you have plan b's the more you you don't trust you know the more you say i'm trusting god and then have a plan b then it you're not fully trusting because actions speak louder than words so anyway that is that is how i survived i survived by fully trusting on god and just leaving it at the cross and just keep it, keeping it moving so i wish i had come earlier because now i feel like i was just here all day doing totally nothing but i just wanna you know tell somebody or encourage somebody who is going through something that you can leave it at the cross and forget about it you know sick children relationships marriages school whatever it is finances leave it at the cross and keep it moving just leave it with god and let god take over we we, we say i usually say let let go and let god so that is how i survive my life so yes yeah, so is there let me see what you're saying thank you so much everybody i see you loving on me and giving me hugs and all that and i see every one of you and i love you for supporting and loving me um uh, unconditionally i cannot thank you enough so that is how i'm able that is the other thing that I, that is how i am all also able to fight is because of the love and support that i have from you guys and you know i cannot take that for granted so yeah so you want to know what is under my scarf under my scarf i have matutas that we used to do at home i was just lazy and tired and i just decided to just um to just wrap my scarf because my hair i think has stopped growing but it's still i still have full head of hair i don't think lucas has cut so much i, I don't think i have lost any more than i did last year so i think that is you know Lupus will make you have um, hair loss, it will make you have stomach issues, it will make you have uh, skin issues, it will make you have brain issues like memory issues, I usually have some of that. It also can cause strokes, seizures, it can cause so much. But I thank God because I know I'm a lupus warrior and I cannot be given more than I can handle that is just how i believe and that is just how i fight because again the uh you know the the way i use uh this is just like uh, god knows what i can handle and he knows um how strong i am to put me in a situation for me to be fighting for my life so for me to be in this situation he must think i am very strong so i just try to live life and go on with life and fight as much as i can and just trust god through the journey and just you know ignore everything else and keep on going do i still work yes was i working today yes was i supposed to be working no but i am um, my mind doesn't do well when i'm idle i did not work as much as i used to because um per the guidelines i'm not supposed to be working and doing the infusions uh because i have taken paid time off <laughs> but um i work anyway because it makes me feel better um and i don't like an idle mind i listened to a lot of, a lot of music too today uh because i was complaining and whining how idle i was and how tired i was of being here but god has been very 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 good to me i cannot say that much more i know a day will come when i'll be fully healed or fully in remission and when i when that day come i'll come back here and i will let you all guys know that i'm back on remission and i cannot wait for that day that i'll be pain free you know like one day without pain or one day without swelling one day without wounds you can see that finger i cannot even be able to straighten the finger completely now so i have you see they are sausage fingers they are swollen that is one way that you can know that you have lupus and if you look from the side like that it doesn't make a straight line it cannot make a fully straight line or i don't know how to put it so when i'm driving i'm putting them straight look look at that 
<laughs> yeah, look. Um, so you, they cannot make a, and this one actually cannot straighten up completely. So when I'm driving, I'm trying to put my fingers like that so I can try to straighten them out so that they don't get so crunched out. But God has been good to me. Thank you for joining me. I have just a few more minutes, I think. Um, and then I'll be heading home in traffic. Like last night, it took me an hour from the hospital to home. I don't know how long it's going to take me today, but I'm not complaining. God has been good to me. So anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys later. I will probably come back live tomorrow if I'm not having a lot of side effects and we can talk a little bit more. I know it's Friday and people are busy, so love you guys. And by the way, let me mention this for everybody who has had bought my t-shirts. I have more colors now. I have I even have the scroll doma ones. I'm gonna put those online when um, probably over the weekend and you guys can get them. <clears throat> it's usually $20 shipping included for the t-shirts and it's usually $35 shipping included for the hoodies. So just let me know and I'll send them your way. Just shoot me an inbox or whatever and I will send them your way. I know there is, um, I had ran out of some hoodies in some sizes, but I think now I have all the sizes. So you can shoot me a text or whatever or an inbox and I will ship them your way. That is how we spread awareness. The t-shirts usually just say no lupus, just no lupus, a world without lupus and a world where everybody knows lupus so that is the awareness those are the awareness t-shirts i sell them at you know at a reasonable price and i will ship, ship them your way these um i have hoodies too so if you want a hoodie just shoot me a text and i will send them and then i have these bracelets like that those uh this is my purple one and i wear purple for lupus because i'm a lupus warrior i have like four for for autoimmune diseases so i'm not gonna wear all of them at once but lupus is the first disease that i was ever diagnosed with in 2013 then i was diagnosed with uh, the disease called scrolldoma that is the overproduction of collagen i was diagnosed with that in 2015 then 2017 i was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and i was diagnosed with interstitial lung disease and then um 2018 last year primary biliary collagitis and children so uh and i also have renaults but i mean <laughs> who's counting um but i don't despair i don't give hope i feel like uh, we are made to fight and the more you keep on fighting the more the stronger you become i think i am stronger to fight this year or this month and today than I was yesterday and um just just because of that I am you know I'm thankful I'm thankful that God has put me in a situation where I can spread awareness as well as try to fight, fight as much as I can and the reason I come to you even going through what I'm going through with myself is because I want you to know that this is how lupus looks like I don't have to be in a wheelchair to you know to be fighting a disease or to be you know to be fighting something and you know um yeah so uh, yeah so so that is how it is so i have lupus i have scrolldoma i have shogen chagrin or whatever they call it and uh, all that and i what i usually say is that they don't have me but uh, my job is to stay alive until they find a cure so my job is to fight 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 until they find a cure so yeah so i'm thankful i'm thankful today and um i know that i'm blessed um so regardless of your situation i'm gonna still say be still and know that he's god that is what i'm gonna say regardless of your situation regardless of what you're going through regardless of how hard you think your situation is or how far you have fought or how down you may seem like you have looked for, for solution or how deep in darkness you are in just be still and know that he's god and leave it at the cross because god has a good plan for you he has a good plan for me too and the reason that i'm alive today is just to tell his goodness and to remind people to be still 
and regardless of the situation it might look as bad and i also usually say um we always give up most of the time we give up when we are almost at the time for a breakthrough like when you're just almost getting that breakthrough that's the time that we give up on that job that is the time we give up on that interview that is the time we give up on that schoolwork just when you're near your breakthrough don't give up keep on pushing because every little push that you do god can see that and god rewards that just keep on pushing and keep on praying and keep on trusting god so yeah so that is what i'm doing i'm almost gone home i only have like uh less than 10 minutes or so to go let me see the time the time will tell me no it's not 10 minutes it's like uh, 20 minutes to go so yeah but god has been uh, god has been good to me and i cannot complain and i don't come here to whine or to lose you know no i'm not coming here to whine i'm coming to encourage you and i'm coming to tell you that god has you regardless of the situation my situation is probably not as bad as somebody else's somebody else's has is going through more than i'm going through and um you know I, I don't have a right to complain or whine about my situation because i know that god has control over that so you should not also you know feel bad about your situation just let god take care of it because he has if he has the whole world in his hands then what about your situation he knows you he knew you before you were born so give all that to him because he cares about you so don't stress so much about your situation leave it at the cross and let god take care of it so for me i am okay i'm just tired i am going to i don't know what i'm gonna I, I know what i'm gonna do when i get home i'm just probably gonna take a bath and just probably go to sleep if i can uh i can tell you how it's gonna be there's nothing that helps with the side effects of the medications here of this medication here so they are gonna give me some nausea medication uh through the IV so that when i'm driving home i don't throw up and then i will take something for migraine because that usually happens every time it does not fail so i'll actually my daughter knows uh will need ice packs so that i can alternate ice packs on my head because it gets really hard like the side effects are so brutal but i mean i usually say they are brutal but it's worth it like uh, i cannot go without the medication so you kind of have to choose your poison you kind of have to choose whether you want to go without the medication and get so sick and end up in the hospital or you take the medication and have some side effects for two or three days and then be okay for like a week i don't know i just take it because um it's i think it works for me somehow and it takes i mean it's what is ordered so i trust god that uh, whatever he's guiding my doctors to do is you know he gives them the knowledge to, to treat me so yeah so i take it and the side effects are brutal and i deal with them every time and i'm not gonna complain about them because that is just the way it is that is just how life is if we look at the fairness of life sometimes we never feel like life is always fair but um again we're not gonna complain so don't complain about your situation just leave it at the cross be still and let god know about your problems so anyway remember to get the t-shirts if you can remember i have bracelets too i love you guys thank you for your love and support and i'll see you again this weekend if i can be able to handle um a live video all right thank you so much and from me i love you guys bye